Are you ready for a trip back to a time when things seemed a lot more innocent? And gathering around the TV to watch a sitcom called Leave It to Beaver could make you feel all was right with the world. Well, then hop into GMA's TV Time Machine, your guide from L.A. Dancing with the Stars host, Tom Bergeron. Tom, good morning to you. Good morning, Chris. Yes, we're in the TV Time Machine, boys and girls. And uh, <laughs> Leave It to Beaver, 50 years ago today, I think, debuted. Currently, it's available in about 140 languages, 180 countries. I think there are about three planets other than Earth where you can see Leave It to Beaver. A few days ago, I sat down for a few hours with the cast of the show, and we strolled down memory lane. Leave It to Beaver. Tonight, half a century ago, premiered a TV sitcom so iconic that Leave It to Beaver eventually became a pop culture adjective for a clean-cut, non-dysfunctional family. Would you boys take your plates out in the kitchen, please? June Cleaver, TV's mother in pearls, played by Barbara Billingsley, is now a young 92 years old. Once I wished I was a duck, because mostly ducks have lots of luck. Theodore Beaver Cleaver is a 59-year-old father of three. Actor Jerry Mathers makes personal appearances and recently performed in Hairspray on Broadway. Would you close the door? I don't want to hear it when he starts yelling at you. His brother Wally, Tony Dow, is a producer, director, writer, and sculptor. Hello, Mrs. Cleaver, may I come in? Ken Osmond, whose Eddie Haskell character became a household name as an insincere troublemaker, joined the Los Angeles Police Department. He's retired at 64. Today, Osmond and Mathers get financial advice from Frank Bank, who played Clarence Lumpy Rutherford. Shut up, you squirt. In a rare reunion, this legendary TV family celebrated their anniversary with Good Morning America, sharing secrets and memories. Fifty years ago. Amazing. 50. Can you imagine? It makes me feel old to, to know 50 years <laughs> ago. Well, how years do you think ago. it makes us feel yeah, old? <laughs> how about the mother? Uh, yeah, and still with the pearls, Barbara. Oh, I had to wear those. Lovely. Yeah. I always had something around my neck because I have a hollow there. And it was hard in those days to photograph it. You have a what? A, a hollow. hollow. Right a hollow in your neck? Yeah, in my neck. Quite really? a big hollow. Uh -huh. And I wear pearls all the time. You did something on television before any other show. Right? You showed a toilet. Wally and the Beaver wanted a pet and sent away for an alligator without telling their parents <laughs> and they decided to keep it in the toilet tank because it needed water. Right. To show a bathroom on television was definitely foreboding. The way the censors let it go on was they could only show the top of the toilet tank. <laughs> Where are the kids? Hugh Beaumont died of a heart attack 25 years ago. And Hugh was the greatest father, I think, on television. And I was a pretty good mom, I hope. I think you were. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Barbara and Hugh were our second parents. Right. We would be fooling around on the set. All we heard from the other room was, boys? <laughs> that was Hugh. Was it difficult for you guys as actors, after being so closely identified with the roles on Leave it to Beaver, to go out and, and try to continue an acting career? Personally, it was. I was definitely typecast. Yeah. June Cleaver, too. Even Jive talking. I was going to ask you yeah. about that. <laughs> Airplane. Airplane. Just hang loose, blood. She's going to catch up on the rebound on the med side. What it is, big mama. My mama raised no dummies. I duck her rap. Cut me some slack, Jack. Can you do that still? Sure, she sure can. I can talk Jive. Can you... Hang in there, blood. <laughs> You're going to little... catch up on the rebound on the med side. <laughs> It never loses its charm. <laughs> but you know something? Uh, today, looking back, Eddie has been so good to me my entire life that uh, I'm so glad I was typecast. <laughs> <laughs> you became a cop. What was it like to be an LAPD officer and have people recognize you? Uh, uh, people on the street generally didn't. Uh -huh. He was shot in the line of duty. Three times, right? Mm. One bounced off the little part of your belt that goes up and down, uh -huh. two in the chest. Did you have a vest on? Have you had occasions where people have come up to you in airports and, or whatever on the street and relate to you what the show meant to them or any oh, impact sure. it may have you had? Know, I think the hardest sure. thing about that is that many people feel that every other family 
was like the Cleaver family and, you know, wanted it to be, wanted it to be, but there were, you know, dysfunction in the 50s was just like it is today. Sure. I think it was just a lot more hidden. So a lot of kids, especially if they came from broken homes or, you know, homes that just weren't right, think that everybody else was growing up like Leave it to Beaver and felt very, very badly that they weren't, but they could at least see how the rest of us were living. But it wasn't true. All the fam every family is dysfunctional. Every Not family. Mine. Well, <laughs> I think you'd be surprised. <laughs> There's always a skeleton in everyone's closet. There was a rumor that I had married Barbara Billingsley. My, my standard answer to it, I, I would in a moment. She, will, she won't have it. <laughs> <laughs> All that intrigue behind the scenes is always good. Now, Tom, it's interesting. A generation grew up with them, but, you know, Wally and the Beaver were growing up also, yet Mom always seemed to stay taller than them. How'd they pull that off? Well, that was, uh, they, they, her heels got higher as, <laughs> as the kids were growing. Seriously, she said, because she's not a very tall woman, but the heels just got bigger and bigger. So it was like she was in stilettos. All she needed was a whip, and she would have kept them in line. Let me... <laughs> For more information on Leave it to Beaver cast members, go to Genesis Creations Entertainment at www.genesiscreations.biz.